you guys know that the Wicked Lovely series, which if you've watched my videos on that series, um, I absolutely am obsessed with it. I love it. Um, did you guys know that they made a manga series? Yay! Oh my gosh! Um, I went to an author signing last week. Um, uh, took Spence with me, but it was actually a female, um, she does, it, her name was Jane Green. She was so cool. It's, uh, she does female, like, women's, uh, fiction. And, um, here's the book here. I'll show you. Got this book. There's her picture. This one's called Promises to Keep, and I'll just show you. She signed to Gina, Best Witches, Jane Green. So that was really cool. Um, but I wanted to go meet her because three to five years ago I read one of her books and I really liked it, but since then I've gotten into YA fiction, so I haven't really read any more of hers. But I saw that I got the chance to meet her, so we go. Long story short, Spencer went with me. When we went to go get in line, Spencer comes up and he's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, because I had heard that this was going to happen, but I didn't actually know that it was released, and I don't know when it was released. Spencer's like, are we going to, do you want to get it? I'm like, absolutely. Well, I was like, but I'm not supposed to spend any more money. I'm only supposed to, you know, buy this book that, to get the author sign in. So Spence had some allowance money, and he's like, well, I'm going to get it. It was, it was $9.99. And, um... I said, well, if you get it, that'd be great. Then, I'm still in the line, moving on up a little bit. Here comes Spence with book number two, volume two. I'm like, oh my gosh, how many is out? So, I gotta look that up online. I don't even know how many of these are out, but definitely there are two volumes out. And we just got the first one. And, I, and I'm dying to get the second one. Spencer read this a couple days ago. I just sat down and read it this evening and is really good and it's not wicked lovely so like you know twilight did that graphic novel and it is twilight the same story this one it's it even says wicked lovely and it's desert tales and so this is a completely different story it was an, it's another story within the story and it you see keenan and oh my gosh i got to show you guys keenan that this would be the coolest thing ever if they made him look like this in the movie, Wicked Lovely movie that they're coming out. Let me see, where is he? When I first saw him, I was like, what? Here, if you can see that, this is him, Come, he comes blowing in. Isn't he cool looking? And then, this is an even better shot. Look at that, that is Keenan. Oh my Lanta. Does he look hot or what? And then there's a really cool picture here with a new character. Um, that's Rika and that is um, Jace, which I thought was funny because of the Mortal Instruments series. Jace is her man. Um, but this is a, what this is if you've read Wicked Lovely. And this won't be a spoiler if you haven't read Wicked Lovely. Um, you may have a little trouble understanding some of this if you haven't read Wicked Lovely. Um, I don't know, but this won't be a spoiler to it. Um, Keenan is, of course, the Summer King, and um, he is. Um, how do I explain it to make it easy? Um, this was one of his girls. Um, Keenan is right from on um, blah, blah, blah. Wicked Lovely. I get so excited talking about this. Wicked Lovely. Keenan is looking for his summer queen, so that he can come into his full power. Well, this girl, he thought. Well, actually, I'll just show you this girl. Keenan thought that. Um, it was a possibility that she could be his summer queen. Well, if they go up, and I won't tell you what they have to do, but if they go up and they try to do what they need to do to become the summer queen, 
and it doesn't work, then they are stuck being a fairy. And I, I won't tell you any more of that, but certain things happen to them. Well, this girl is one of them. And needless to say, she wasn't. And she's not even in the Wicked Lovely series. It talks about the Summer Girls. She is one of them. It didn't work. And um, so she wasn't his queen and she didn't get to be with him. So um, this book is a, is a side story about her. Um, and that she's, she was one of the summer, ends up being just one of the summer girls. So, well, I don't know if she'd be, she was considered a summer girl, because I think she just tried to get away from him after the end, and she lives in the desert, so, but, um, it's just a side story about all of that. So, I'm just, I'll read some of the back real quickly. Usually I don't like when people do that because it's boring, so if, it, if you think it's boring, just fast forward. But it says, um, discover Melissa Mars' mesmerizing world of fairy. The desert is far away from the schemes of the fairy courts. And that's how Rika likes it. Once a mortal and now a fairy, Rika seeks isolation and revels in her ability to appear invisible to humans. Then she meets him, artistic and kind. Jace is the last person Rika wants to hide from. But change is coming challenging Rika's freedom and her new romance as her past pursues her even into the heart of the desert. So, and this book too, the reason I'm dying for volume two, which I was surprised about, it just leaves you, like this guy here says, now on to the next step. And it's like, so it's like, okay, what's the next step? So, she leaves you hanging. Um, and I'm wondering how many volumes there's going to be. Usually the mangas, there's like a ton. So this is really going to be cool. I'm so excited about this. Like more of the Wicked Lovely. Um, anything that she puts out there about this fairy world, I definitely will be all over and be reading. Um, but um, I guess here's a in-color picture of Keenan. So, but he is awesome looking. And I'm thinking if they make these characters... Oh, I hope they make them so much cooler in the movie. I hope they make them good. And then, um, I hope they make the fairies cool. I was going to show you a, a good picture of the fairies. Um, and these are, like, not-so-nice fairies. Um, here's some of them. See them there? They got, like, sharp teeth and laughing. Here she is. She's cool-looking, but she's an evil fairy. So she could be a solitary fairy, or she could be um, one of the dark court fairies. Probably solitary, though, because it seems like she's acting on her own. Solitary fairies are fairies who have went out on their own and not sworn fealty to any of, not to the dark court, not to the summer court, not to the winter court, and they're just out there on their own. So they can do whatever they want, but they also have no protection. So, if you ever become a fairy, you should always swear your fealty, if I say that word right, to one of the courts. Because, and I suggest the dark court. Because <laughs> if you don't, if somebody wants to come after you, you'll have no protection. So I say, go to Neil and give him fealty, and he'll treat you right. <laughs> Some of you might want to go to the summer court, though. I don't know. I don't know. I will go to the dark court. There's no doubt in my mind right now. But if you've read Wicked Lovely, tell me which court you would go to. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Go get this book. If you didn't know about it like me, I hope you're excited. So go get it. Check it out. But I suggest if you got the money... Go ahead and get volume one and two and whatever else is out there right now because you're going to want it. So, all right, guys. Till next time, I'm Gina with YA Fiction Freaks, and happy reading. Bye.